back to Willamette Valley couponing and um, I'm on vacation. I am up in Seattle visiting family and I definitely wanted to get a haul in. I normally do Walmart and Walgreens. Um, there's a Walgreens just literally down the block for me, but Seattle doesn't really have, I don't even know if there's a Walmart in like Seattle proper, um, but I went, my uncle uh, took me over to Linwood and um, took me to a Walmart there and I was able to get a Walmart. I bought a haul in, which is um, pretty awesome because I finished that $20 um, saver, whatever it's, great saver, $20, whatever it's called. Um, but I finished that $20 bonus, uh, which I was happy because I am um, on vacation and not like at home in my normal area. And I was like, ooh, I'm hoping I could be able to finish that. So yeah, I was able to get to Walmart, get those things done. I got, I bought a things and swag bucks, my points and check out 51, maybe I think even a saving star. So I got some good deals. I literally just got out of the shower. My hair still wet. Uh, my face is still red from it, but I had some spare time and I wanted to get this uh, done and out there for you guys. I also got the weekend warrior and I'm so happy to say that my weekend warrior was $3 um, for 12 offers. So it hasn't been that good in a while. So it was good. Um, so the first thing I got was the Yoplait 8 count. It's $3.74. I used a $1 coupon from coupons.com. I paid $2.74 out of pocket. I bought it has 50 cents. Swag Bucks is offering a 20 cent in a yogurt. And my points is also also offering 20 cent in a yogurt. So it became $1.84 or 23 cents um, for each one. So that's a really good deal. So the next deal is the Popsicle brand. Um, I picked these up for $2.94 and I paid that $2.94 out of pocket. I bought his offering back 75 cents, making it a $1.68 for these. So I know summer is practically over, but I always like Popsicles. And plus I'm actually leaving um, pretty much everything I got up here in Seattle, so my little cousin Silas will love that I got popsicles. I picked up another thing of the popsicle brand, but these are the Fruit Pops um, Banana Orange Strawberry. Sounds really awesome. These are $3.47, and I paid that out of pocket. I bought his game back $1.25, making it just $2.22. Next, I picked up was the Real Good um, Pizza. This was kind of hard to find it was a little frustrating and then like as I was leaving the aisle my mom spotted it um, wasn't our best experience at a Walmart and I don't know if I quite will go back to that one it was actually a really bad experience um, altogether but so we were able to find these and they're priced at 567 and I paid that out of pocket I bought us offering back two dollars and fifty cents making it 317 for the pizzas so I did the Krusty's um, blueberry muffins again. Well, last time, what did I get? Chocolate chip last time? But I got blueberry. Um, they are $1.82 and I paid that out of pocket. I bought his offering back 50 cents, making them $1.32 for the blueberry muffins. Then I also did the Krusty's cornbread again. These are $1.53. And I paid that out of pocket. I bought his giving back 50 cents, making it just $1.03 for the cornbread. So if you need a quick cornbread, it's in the mix. You just, I mean, pretty good for just $1.03. And then I did picked up another thing of Krusty's Buttermilk Pancakes. I went to their website and I signed up with an email and they sent me a 25 cent coupon. So Krusty's.com, I believe, or just Google it, put it in and it'll take you there. They're 186. I used that 25 coupon, so it came to 161. I bought his offering a 75 cent rebate, making it just 86 cents for the pancake mix. So I got some more true lemonade or true lemon. Um, I got the lemonade, the original one this time. They're $1.53. You pay that out of pocket. I bought it, it's giving you back 50 cents, making it just $1.03 for 10 servings of the lemonade. So this kind of, I am, there's a few products that I'm a little frustrated with because I swear I saw them on other sites and I swear I've been seeing them for other sites and it wasn't expiring. 
um, I saw the morning yesterday morning because I went shopping yesterday and when I got home to submit my receipts I couldn't find it anywhere except um, on Ibotta and checkout 51 but I swear it was elsewhere um, and my store didn't carry it and I was happy to see it there because I did search on the Walmart app and it said unknown and so usually it means it doesn't have it um, but I just went ahead and glanced and it was there so it's $2.98 and I paid that out of pocket. I bought us offering back 75 cents. And check out 51 is offering a dollar, making it just a dollar twenty-one. I thought it was elsewhere, like on swag bucks or something like that. And so I was thinking it was gonna be like 21 cents. Um, but I'm okay. It's just fry sauce. And I think my nephew Sam might really like this and just easy because he loves fry sauce so i picked up the paste picante um salsa which i mean i was pretty much raised that this is the only kind of um salsa that there is unless you go to a restaurant or you make it yourself so i was kind of happy it's not a big savings but it's 268 there's a 50 cent coupon from coupons.com so you pay 218 and then I bought it has 50 cents back. And then there was also a 25 cent um, any salsa. I just add that to the end, but there was um, any salsa out there, making it $1.68 and then plus um, 25 cents off for the any salsa. So not a bad deal. Honey made graham crackers. This was the other item that I saw um, on Saving Star uh, in the morning. And then I went to the store and came back and it was no longer there. And I know I saw it. I know I saw it. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I'm like 98% sure that I saw this on there. $2.98 out of pocket. Checkout 51 gave me a dollar back and Swagbucks gave me a dollar back, making it just 98 cents. I was thinking Saving Star had it, which would have made it free, um, but still 98 cents for a box of graham crackers isn't a bad deal. So I picked up these um, Nestle Raisinets. I love Raisinets. It's going to be perfect for the car ride back home. I could seal them up. So they're $2.83. I bought us offering a dollar back, making it ju um, just $1.83. Uh, this is the eight ounce bag. So not a bad deal. You could also do, I think it was Butterfingers and Nestle Crunch Bites or something like that. So um, I went to Raisinets because I love Raisinets. And fun fact, I like Raisinets and popcorn. It's weird. I like M&Ms and popcorn too, but Next I picked up was Country Croc Plant Base um, with olive oil, so like a margarine. So it was two eighteen. I used a dollar coupon from the nine twenty two retail me night. Um, I paid a dollar eighteen. Saving Star has fifty cents back, and then Checkout Fifty One had a dollar back, making it a thirty three cent money maker. Making it a thirty two cent money maker. So I did the Visine deal. These are three twenty four. I went to visine.com and printed out a dollar coupon, so I paid $2.24. I bought his offering back a dollar fifty for it, making it just 74 cents. So I did the Aquafresh toothpaste again. Um, it just keeps resetting, and it's just another offer I could get, and toothpaste is always needed and used. So it's $1.67, and you pay that out of pocket. I bought his giving me back 75 cents, making it just 92 cents for the tube of toothpaste. So I picked up the seventh generation baby wipes. They're $2.87 and I paid that out of pocket. I bought us giving back 50 cents and then checkout 51 was giving back a dollar, making it just a dollar 37 for the package of baby wipes. And then I almost missed the play text. I didn't see it in the morning, but on our way to the store, I just went ahead and double checked. I bought a, um, just looking around, see if I missed anything. And I saw Playtex was on there and they're offering $3 back. So they're $3.97 each. You could do it two times. Um, so I went ahead and picked up two boxes. Paid $7.94 out of pocket for them. I bought it as offering back $3 for each one. So that's $6 back from Ibotta, making each one just 94 cents. No, making each one just 97 cents. So a pretty good deal. So I spent $48.21 out of pocket. And I got back from Ibotta 
1935 um, and just rebates with the any salsa and any receipt. Um, I got the $3 Weekend Warrior and then I hit the 20 Top Saver bonus. So that's $42.35 back for my Ibotta, which is really awesome and really high for Ibotta. I got back 50 cents from Saving Star. $4 from Checkout 51. $1.20 from Swagbucks. And 20 cents from my points. I also submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards and got points back um, for things like the popsicles and I think the pace in a. But I, and just to make a receipt, you always get points. Like always, no matter if I don't have like a super big bonus on there or anything special, still submit those receipts to Fetch Rewards, get those points, and let them um, add up so you can get some cool gift cards. After all my rebates, I got back $48.25, making it a four cent moneymaker. So everything completely free plus the four cents. So I was really happy. Um, it wasn't like a great amazing good deals and with the $20 bonus that kind of been tracking with all my items throughout the whole month of September definitely helped to cover all this stuff um, but I got a few new things I could try and I'm able to leave things up here in Seattle um, for my family to try as well that is my Ibotta Walmart haul it was pretty fun to go to a new one actually that's a lie I really I was stressed out in the store just nothing was working out I stepped on a yogurt it like exploded everywhere um my mom was having issues but I mean it was fun to go with my family and spend the day with them and stuff so I got the I was able to go couponing I was able to show my aunt and uncle what I was um, what I do and stuff and so in that aspect it was pretty fun just my actual in-store Walmart experience um, when it came to checking out was not fun and the whole stepping on yogurt thing was just a nightmare um, but yeah that's it for me today I'm not too sure when I'll be back um, but I'll probably see you guys in um, in October so I uh, have great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys later.